Hello, Capricorn. Your weekly love tarot reading begins with an Ace of Wands. A King of Cups is how you see your person. The relationship, Queen of Wands, and possible outcome, you have an Ace of Swords. So your person is coming in this week with a Three of Cups. They see you as a Two of Pentacles. The relationship is a Tower moment. And possible outcomes, Ten of Swords. Wow, completion. Bottom of this deck, you have Judgment. A call is coming. A choice to make, right? <clears throat> final choice, you know, the final, it's coming up to that moment, right? Are you going to choose to hold on to uh, the past and the pain and everything that you've held on to? Or are you ready to let go? Are you ready to let go of the burden of guilt and the burden of judgment, right? We're going to get um, into that bottom card further later. Let's go ahead and jump into your reading, Capricorn. How do you and your person come in this week? Well, you're coming in with that Ace of Wands, fire. Strong fire, Ace of Wands, great phallic simple of the deck. A uh, lot of desire, sexual energy here. Something is bursting forth, right? Um, a plan, an ambition, something that you want to do that you can't ignore. Your person is coming in with that Three of Cups energy. So they're being, right now, they are really sort of bathing in uh, their social circle, their friends, their connections, right? They're celebrating. Some of you uh, are dealing with somebody who this week has cause for celebration. Three of Cups energy coming together. Um... It's an abundance of happiness and joy. So they're, they're quite happy. You're quite excited. But let's see. What's going on here? Let's. What is the cause of this excitement? Hero fan energy. Uh-oh. Wow. Okay. Okay. And for them... Oh. Page of Wands fell out. Okay. So hero fan energy. Some of you... Are you getting married? Mmm. <laughs> right? You're starting something new, and the hero fan coming in with this new endeavor feel, could very well be marriage or, like, you know, taking that leap of commitment. Your person also stepping out to start a new path, just the beginning of a journey, but taking that first step of being fearless, that first step of leaving behind those who may judge you or, you know, a page of wands energy is somebody who's determined to follow their own path. Ten of swords again for them. For you, three of wands. I was thinking about this three of wands, virtue coming in. There is a, um, there's a feeling here, Capricorn, that you are sort of wide open and ready. All right, you're ready for whatever comes in. You're ready to receive. You're ready to accept a connection in. Patience. There's been a lot of patience here. A lot of work has been put in for you. And this patience is paying off. Ten of Swords for your person. This is the end of a period of struggling here. Uh, no wonder they are resonating with that celebratory energy. You know, they have, uh, you know, that, that, that Ten of Swords is uh, an, an end. It's an end to something. They're ready to step away. They're celebrating because they finally, you know, they found their courage. They found, uh, they found their purpose. The end of a very dark and difficult time in their life is here. Let's go further. How do you see each other? Because, I don't know, I have this judgment here. I wonder. King of Cups, Two of Pentacles. You see them as a King of Cups. They see you as a Two of Pentacles. They're, for them, I'm going to go to them first. For them, there's a lot of change and activity that they see happening in your life, right? Right? It almost seems as though uh, you are juggling a lot of responsibilities. At least this is how they see you, 
right? Um, I, it feels good, right? But I want to get some clarity. It, it feels good. Uh, two of Pentacles can indicate just an ability to handle your business, right? No matter how chaotic it gets, to handle sort of the um, ups and downs. It could very well be that your person may have been dealing with some issues in their life, Capricorn, to do with work or family. Those issues may have been very, very difficult. Um, they may have caused them a lot of anxiety and pain and stress, a lot of ups and downs. But it seems as though this situation has ended. And it almost feels as though the celebration that they're having with their friends and their close people in their lives is to celebrate the end of that and to celebrate the beginning of a new journey. Seeing you as a two of pentacles, it feels as though you may have... Uh, you may be the one in their lives that's really helped them pull it all together, help them keep it together, right? You may have been sort of the constant earthy force. I mean, pentacles is earth energy. You're earth sign Capricorn. You're very solid and grounded. It's like that grounded ability to handle a lot of tasks. That fire that you bring and enthusiasm to it, this feels good here, right? And for you, you see King of Cups in them. You see them as a, I want to say Capricorn, they represent a very dominant energy in this relationship. They may be the masculine energy in this connection, but in any case, you see them as uh, someone who is very determined, very sure uh, of their love, of what they require. You know, you're not confused about what they want from you, right? The King of Cups is somebody who really understands, you know, relationships and people and knows how to interact with people and communicate with people heart to heart in such a way that he can command people, right? He can get, he can persuade, he, you know, he's smooth, there's a smoothness here and there's a, you know, there's a, an immense amount of emotional clarity and intelligence here. So this feels like a good reading, Capricorn. It feels like a reading, uh, for some of you, this may be a new love with that Ace of Wands, but it feels more like a relationship that's been going on for a while. But right now, over this next period, your person is the one who's really had to struggle through something. I think for you, you may have had to wait. Three of Wands can be patience and waiting. It may be that, and I do feel there's marriage here, maybe that you were waiting for your person to get through a particular situation at work or with their family to be able to move forward with your plans of marriage, right? Or your plans to make this connection more committed, more solidified, more of whatever, right? Um, and so now is the time for you to be able to do that. You've been very patient. Capricorn, if you resonate with this reading, hit the like button. Um, if you've been very, very patient, supportive, patient, all of that. But now I think you're ready. Ten of, yeah, you're ready. Ten of pentacles. You're ready to make that move. Page of pentacles, another page energy. Your person is ready to step out. Ace of Wands, a new beginning. Again, Ace of Wands coming in and Four of Cups. Yeah, for some of you, your person has begun to step away from relationships that have gotten in the way of your progress. So definitely, Capricorn, some of you are dealing with somebody who had something else going on in their life that was really blocking the progress of your union or connection. I don't think this other person, whatever they had in their life, may have been another relationship. Could also be an issue, with, as I said, with friends and family. But if it was a relationship, nothing has changed here. You still were the one who kind of supported them. With that Ten of Swords here, Capricorn, I feel like if it's so if it is indeed a relationship, and I see that here, if they indeed finally said no and goodbye to a recent relationship that you've been supporting them through, this relationship was quite abusive. Okay, Capricorn? This relationship really took a toll on your person. And if it wasn't for sort of the strength that you were like the strength or more or less your ability to take care of things that remind them there may have been paperwork involved, money's involved, whatever. 
um, just things, you know, involved that they needed you to handle tasks. If they were in a relationship that was very, very traumatic, then that's exactly the type of support they would have needed so they can concentrate on, on sort of getting the strength to leave the connection. So I feel like, yes, Capricorn, some of you, the, the path has been opened up for you and your person to come together because the uh, block, the toxic block in their life is being lifted and it's going away and they're absolutely ready now with that page of pentacles to begin a new life with you. It promises for you to be a wonderful life. You already knew it was going to be a wonderful life, 10 of pentacles, and you've been kind of waiting, 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 raring to go, but that ace of wands is there twice to show Capricorn that all your vitality and energy is about to spring forward right? Nothing is going to slow you down. How do you both see this relationship? Well, for you and for them, yeah, interesting. Queen of Wands, for you, uh, Capricorn, again, you have had to be the teacher. You have had to be the guide. You have had to be the counselor, the one to support them. All of your wisdom and your earthly strength, uh, earthly strength is there. But in addition, that Queen of Wands, water of fire, that ability to sort of be very fiery in your actions and um, and to act on your feelings um, with confidence, all of that is what you had to bring to the table. So this relationship, you know, you feel like it's one that's gotten stronger because just like the Queen of Wands, when she goes through adversity, she gets stronger and this relationship is getting stronger. And that is what you've brought. For them, a tower moment. This relationship has absolutely busted open their whole view of life, especially if you're dealing with somebody who before now was dealing with a really toxic, dark connection with someone. This, connect, this relationship that they're having with you is a tower moment for them because what you're bringing to the table, Capricorn, is something they've never experienced before. And I would say that it's something they probably accepted it was not possible, which is why this whole relationship is feeling like a tower moment for them, a moment of divine intervention, a moment of clarity coming in because of that divine intervention. Give me, give me, yeah, high priestess. Wow. You know, intuition. Um, I want to say a connection, a psychic connection you two share and understanding here is coming in, a knowledge that this is right uh, for you. Yeah, Nine of Wands. There seems to have been a period here where there was necessary to put one last final push in this relationship you come out victorious but yeah it does feel like just recently you were almost exhausted and didn't want to put up with it. especially if you're dealing with somebody who has like a toxic ex or if they're coming out of a toxic situation right if they have you know if the last listen this ex may be a parents of their they may have children or ties with them or you know, it just may have been a situation where it was taking a long time and a lot of work and you were feeling like, damn, you know, we're stuck. You and me are stuck here. Like, how do we get past this? You know, I don't know if I have enough, you know, I don't know if I have the energy for this anymore. And it's exactly at that time that you dig deep and you get that energy and you guys come out victorious. Certainly you do. How do you come out, Capricorn? Wow, well... With that Ace of Swords and Ten of Swords again for your person. So it's a whole new beginning. It's an end and a beginning here, right? Um, Capricorn, this is uh, a, victor a victory. And a victory in <clears throat> as far as um, your confidence and your belief in yourself. Because you knew all along that you would be successful here, right? Again, you, it's almost as if the two of you were battling this monster, this toxic entity, right? And um, you, you, I think you always felt like you were going to be victorious, but you find out, you know, outcome here possible is, yes, all the information, all the signs, everything comes in to prove that, in fact, yes, you are victorious, you are correct, the knowledge that you had was right. Your person, Ten of Swords, absolutely. Yes, 
you know, it's the end, fully, fully the end of this connection with this person, and they're ready to move on. Before I pull the oracles, let's pull out your three zodiac signs to see what zodiacs you may be dealing with. Capricorn, some of you are dealing with a Gemini. Mm -hmm. Or they may have Gemini in their chart. Some of you are dealing with a Scorpio. Mm -hmm. Or they have Scorpio in their chart. And one more Zodiac. And some of you are dealing with your sister's sign, Virgo. Okay, might be dealing with a Virgo. In any case, take it as it resonates for you. Let's go ahead and get the Oracle cards out. Again, these readings can be for anybody who has this particular zodiac energy in their chart. So you may be a sun, moon, rising Capricorn. You may have your Venus or your Mars placement in Capricorn. Whatever those placements are, if Capricorn is an energy that factors into your natal chart, you might resonate with this. Conversely, you may want to check out readings for your other planetary placements to see if those readings are more in line with your situation right now. Spirit of the Snowflake, Spirit of the Angel, wow, and Spirit of the Woods, mm-hmm. Special, irreplaceable, one of a kind. That's the spirit of the snowflake. Every single snowflake that has ever fallen in this universe is absolutely unique. Think about that. Spirit of the Angel, Yes, your angels are watching you and guiding you. Blessings are coming. Prayers are being answered. I think this energy is resonating for you and for your person, especially for those of you who have gone through a particularly difficult and trying time. Um, again, I feel this definitely for some of you, your, your person is dealing with an abusive, horrible relationship that took some energy to get out of. Spirit of the woods, yes, voices, goblins, nightmares. Mm-hmm. That doesn't go away. So, yes, the, the path may be clear, but there is just a new stage to come and work to come as well. But in any case, this reading is all about you and your person. Sort of, I want to say just clearing. Just being a, like having your path cleared. But I want to say clearing the path because it's down to the work that you've both put in. Phoenix energy, yes, rising. And the whale, oh, perfect animal spirits of strength to come in. The phoenix is an ether animal spirit, not earth, wind, uh, fire, or uh, water, but ether. So the phoenix represents the root chakra, the chakra of death and rebirth, death and birth and rebirth, regeneration. The phoenix, you know, is talking about letting go. The phoenix is also here on this judgment card. We're talking about the choice to let go, the choice... To let, the, to let everything that's happened up until now dissolve, to not have attachment to it in any way, to let go of that attachment so that you can be reborn. And this is a feeling here for this relationship. Whale energy comes in, water. The whale has the ability to go deep into the ocean, deep into the waters where the feelings are very difficult, very, very difficult, oppressive you know, I'm going to say, let me let me move these over here, actually. I'm going to say, you know, energy feelings that are hard, you know, that are, that are almost impossible to bring to the surface, but that are there and that cause a disturbance in the water, right? So they have to be dealt with. And the whale is a spirit of healing, much like the dolphin, but the whale has the ability to go much, much deeper, much, much deeper into uh, those traumatic places, right? And to provide support so those areas can be investigated and dealt with and examined and healed from. So beautiful reading here, Capricorn. Yeah, a big, great step forward for you and your person coming out of a very difficult period of toxicity, dealing with outside influences coming in. Yes, the toxicity has come from the outside in. Absolutely. Okay, if you resonate with this reading, go ahead and hit the like button. Consider subscribing to my channel. But for right now, guys, I'm just going to leave it at that. I'm going to wish you all love, life, and happiness. This is Bow and Arrow Tarot, and I hope to see you guys next week on my channel for your weekly love tarot reading. Bye-bye now.